Clearly, as you can tell by the title, today's recipe is a beef stew. To start off, we have diced our beef, chopped our beef, diced our beef, whatever you want to call it. To this, I'm going to add salt and we are going to evenly distribute the salt or we are going to coat the meat with the salt evenly. When you work with your hands, make sure that your hands are clean. This process of working with my hands helps, you know, in distributing the salt or whatever the ingre ingredients that you are going to see forward in this video. We work with my hands. I prefer this method over working with spoon or a fork or any other spatula. We are so fond of using store-bought spice mix, but I am going to roast my spices over here so that the blending process so that we get a powder like consistency easily in the blender here we have cinnamon sticks black pepper and cloves so i'm going to roast them properly and here we have my spatula so that i can turn everything over although i was you know tossing the pan shaking the pan the process needs to be thorough so that's how i'm using spatula Whilst the meat was seating in with salt, I will add here some turmeric. I take two teaspoons of each, each as in first we use turmeric and then the next ingredient is to add that dash of spice. We are going to use two teaspoons of red chili powder. Again here we are going to work with my hands although I should have added the spice mix and then mixed but I don't know I just love mixing the ingredients. So we are going to work with my hands evenly coat the meat with the turmeric and the red chili powder. Here we have my roasted spices in the blender jar and we have the grinding blades ready to you know grind everything together. This is the final result we have a very good powder like consistency this is what we are going to use to coat the meat. I know this process is long but it needs to be thorough. We need to coat the spice mix evenly. Everything needs to be coated evenly to the meat so you know I want to be thorough in this process and that's how I use my hands so that you know the job should be well done. No beef platter is complete without ginger garlic paste. So we have garlic cloves and ginger pieces in the blender and this is how you do your ginger garlic paste. We are going to add that to my meat and evenly coat it. Again we use my hands and we distribute that evenly to the meat. So my blender jar had residue of ginger garlic paste. I add some water and pour that in the pot. This water we are going to use to cook my meat. We are going to toss the meat with the spice mix into the pot. Leave that for 15 minutes until it is semi cooked.
beef stew means there are other ingredients involved so i have diced potatoes and carrots this i'm going to add after that 15 minutes of semi cooked beef so that the veggies and the uh, beef you know have their cooking time together we use the spatula to evenly you know distribute and spread the ingredients in the pot and let it cook to prepare the saute we have chopped our onions we, these are not finely chopped they are one sided chopped onions if you know what i mean and we are going to heat oil in a pan once the oil is heated we add the onions to the heated oil and let it cook for a while in the meantime i am going to finely chop the tomatoes we want the top tomatoes finely chopped we don't want the chunky tomatoes to appear in my beef stew because there are a whole lot of ingredients that are there in the beef stew so here we have finely chopped tomatoes we are going to mix that so that you know the tomatoes and onions release the flavor in the pan to this i'm going to add bell peppers bell peppers is bell pepper is not supposed to be too spicy but it's going to add that hint of spice to this i'm going to add goan sausages known as chorizo so i'm going to mix that with the wooden spatula evenly and then finally add it to the beef stew to that i'm going to add frozen peas and then we are done that's our beef stew ready hope you like this beef stew cooking video if you like this video hit the like button don't fail to subscribe hit that notification bell check my all other videos that are there on my youtube page until then bye